Okay, so this is my Raspberry Pi 4 uh, and it's running Windows 10, but this time from an SSD. Uh, the videos I've released before now have been running from the SD card uh, and some of them have been running just from the SD card, no boot drive or anything, and uh, performance-wise it's not been great. So this setup now, I've got my new USB-C adapter, uh, which has got three USB inputs. It's got power that goes through it into the Pi, and then I've got HDMI out into the monitor. Uh, it's cooled with a Pi Moroni fan shim. Uh, you can see I've got my keyboard. I've got sound card, because sound still isn't supported without uh, an external sound card, but this cost me 99p from eBay. Uh, this is a, a USB A to A cable, uh, which is a caddy, which basically is an SSD drive uh, with a, a sort of SATA adapter and that just, you can screw this together, I just do it because I, I swap out the SSD drive at different points. So I've started like this because I wanted to show the speed of startup because it's it's like night and day. This, this is actually usable even now. Uh, this is Zamfix's build which was the fastest of all the builds but doesn't at this stage support internet. But I'm gonna try it with Marsan's build and maybe the, the WOR builds um, that I've been trying recently, but they boot in a different way. But I'll go through how to do it in a, in a separate video, but this is more about showing how fast it is. So let's plug in and show you how quick it starts up. And this is the bit that's been really slow before now. I'm not cutting anything out, this is all in real time. Thing to remember, it's still running the Pi on one gig. Right, so I'll just log in. Would have been slicker if I logged in with the correct password. Now, if you tried this yourself, you'll know that that bit is is just completely changed from what it was. I'll just move this speaker. So if I click on start, uh, and I launch an app, here is Paint Shop Pro. Remember, Windows has just started up as well, which would normally mean that apps would, would load up a lot slower. And this is PaintShop Pro 7. I was just looking through various different disks I had and things that I could install on it. There you go. And we are up and running. This is faster than it used to be on my old computer. So I'm gonna to switch to screen capture. Um, so I'm gonna shut that down. Or oh, actually, I wanted to just play some audio as well. Now, I don't know if this worked, this install. I did it really late last night. So this is Winamp. I tried VLC, I couldn't, I couldn't get VLC to work with Xamfix's build. So Xamfix's build also uh, doesn't work for me with the internet as well. Um, there you go, that started up nice and quick. Uh, Again, compared to before, uh, there's already a track there because it's been playing one. Oh, turn the speaker on. Battery, 30%. So let's close that down. So let's close it down and switch over to screen capture just because it works better. But I think you can see uh, from my previous videos, which I left in real time, it just, everything happens super quick and it's really good. There you go, and we're off. Just show you the lights that stops flashing green. There you go, and my monitor's just gone off, so that's powered off. 
Okay, so uh, let's have a look at it now. We've got it in screen capture mode. So there's various things I've been playing around with. You saw PaintShop Pro. Uh, I suppose I could go back into that and just see how quick it does various different transitions and things. But uh, again, I'll try and leave this video that, I mean, usually I, I try and edit things out so there's no blank space, but I think in the interest of this and the previous video, it's nice to see uh, how how quick it is, the massive uh, transformation of, of running it from an SSD. So let's close that down. Let's open it. I've only got the one image on here at the moment. Because there's not, because with this build, there's not any network um, capability or, or I haven't been able to get it to work. Uh, so I'm going to do it with a different one with, with internet and network capability. Uh, that'll be much better. Right, let's get on with this. So effects. 3D effects, button eyes. Well, that didn't make a lot of difference, did it? That's just doing the edge. So, enhance photo. Uh, no, artistic effects, that'll be better. That age newspaper. I remember that this really was unusable um, pretty much yesterday. It, it just you wouldn't have used it as an operating system unless you really desperately had to get, you know, one file off or something like that. Uh, this and now uh, I'm doing PaintShop Pro with various different filters, and it's doing it in really quite quick time. So a big part of the bottleneck was definitely the SD card. Obviously, Windows is less of a uh, of an efficient operating system than Linux. Linux is a very lightweight operating system. So when you got something like Raspbian, uh, it was doing it really, really fast. Uh, and then as soon as you introduce, uh, and I figured, oh, it be, because it's not been very well optimized, it's still only running on one gig of RAM. So really, this 100%, this is uh, a viable solution for an operating system. Now, I would still use Linux on a Pi, but if you need Windows for certain different things that you, you needed to do, like, like running something like PaintShop Pro, say you've got some old files which are, are in a particular format that only that recognizes, uh, then you have that as an option. Anyway, let's stop talking and, and sort of show the performance more. Or oh, this one looks like it's going to take a bit more. Is this going to look anything like the image? Just thinking about it. There you go. <laughs> it's a nice logo. Uh, so that's PaintShop Pro. Uh, I used to use this. Yeah, I haven't used it for years and years, but I used to really love it as a program. I use Pixelmator on the iPad Pro now. Um, that's how I create all my thumbnails. So if we go to a recycle bin, I've been playing around with things, but just to show that it comes up quick. I've, I've had issues with VLC, whereas I didn't have an issue in the WOR build. Um, so when I go through these names of these different builds, there's a blog by Marsan, and he was the first person that um, started this Windows 10 on Raspberry Pi. It was the first time I was aware of it. And then if you go through that blog, uh, you'll see that Xamfix created a build, uh, and it's a very stripped down build of Windows and, and just runs really quick. But I think the SSD makes so much difference that it's gonna be uh, enough to be able to use Marsan's build, which will then give me internet, and I can connect to my network, and you know things like that make it much more usable. So let's close that down, uh, and let's go into the Start menu and just show you that uh, we can scroll up and down much quicker. Elastomania, which is one of my favorite old games. And I found there's an Elastomania 2, which is which works fine. Uh, this is on, let's put it on. Do, do, do. This is me being slow here. So play, pack A. You can see it's flicking through all the menus and things really, really fast. I know this is a basic game, um, but for me, it's really exciting to get it up and running. Let's give a bit of volume. So this is an x86 Windows game, not an ARM game, uh, and it's being emulated on the Pi, uh, which is how Windows on ARM works. And as you can see, Ooh, if I get away with that, I'll be lucky. Uh, and, it, and this game does run at this speed. This is this is how it's meant to be run. Uh, it's not running slow or anything. 
See if we can get up to the flag, lad. Oh, I actually let off too early. Right, okay, let's not go through any more of that, but that, as you can see, is great. And let's go to, our oh, exit is the arrow down here, slightly different. So, starts up, closes down nice and fast. Fuse is a ZX Spectrum emulator. Um, so, now how do I have this? Oh, that is right, this is running at two times, so it looks tiny, um, but, but it works fine. So I had Jet Set Willy working. I'm gonna turn that off because I don't want any copyright strikes. Hit enter, I'll turn it back on there. Right, so, OP in space. And this, again, looks slow, but it's running at the speed I would expect it to. It feels like it's running on a spectrum. Oh, oh, that works. And again, these are all x86 programs. PaintShop Pro, uh, I've, oh, I've had for, for years and years. Um, I don't know how far it goes back, PaintShop Pro 7, but I've had it for a very long time. And... Uh, I just installed the program into Windows 10. It just installed and unzipped and everything is normal. Uh, so Winamp, let's play a bit more further into the track. So this isn't, Winamp is from years ago, but this version I found is, is fairly recently released. And it takes a bit longer to start up, but it's not, it's not bad. There we go, and it remembers the track that it was last in. So if I, where's the, where do you skip along the track? Oh, up here. There you go, so that's working fine. Uh, if I go, control, alt, delete, task manager, it's just, it, it is usable. I, you know, if I, if I jumped on a computer at someone's house and I, and I started using Windows on it, I wouldn't be thinking, oh, you know, this, there's something wrong with this. Whereas, my last, and this isn't a slight on Acer, um, but my, my last Acer laptop was a Windows, um, I think it was a N2840 Celeron, and uh, it was running at about two gig, I think it was dual core, but it had an EMMC drive, and that computer was almost unusable. It was just shocking. Uh, Windows shouldn't be run on 32 gig. Uh, ordinarily, it just it just an EMMC drives. You should always use an SSD with Windows. So you can see here CPU usage. I'll leave this up while I start. What else have I got here? I suppose I could go back into something. It's a Pro Elastomania. Well, let's flick through the settings and things and see what it see what it does by doing that. So let's do it. There you go. It, see, it snaps quickly now as well. So if we go through display. Oh, we go to about. So Raspberry Pi Windows 10. So it's overclocked to 2.15. I'll show how to do this and how to set it up in a separate video. I just wanted to get this one out there to show the speed and how nice it is to, to use. Uh, version 2.0.0.4. OS build 19.5.9.2. So you think when this has got four gig of RAM, when the uh, 3D support is is there, uh, I already showed yesterday Steam running, um, albeit not great, but with all these things added, so look, memory, look, 863 of 939, just going through the settings. So display, sound, notifications, focus assist, power and sleep. What's this doing here? Oh, temporary files. So at the moment, um, this is showing 29.5, which is the the image you download from the blog, which is Amfix's image, needs to be expanded to match your hard drive because this is running on a 120 gig SSD, which was super cheap from Amazon. I think it was about 12 pound or 14 pound or something like that. Uh, and the caddy wasn't expensive either. Let's have a row of multitasking. Projecting clipboard. So if I or well, leave that up, 
click on the bottom here on the notifications tab, which usually comes up a bit slower. And then, uh, wait, for, well, that was supposed to be expanded. Oh, it's because, oh no, I thought it was uh, because it was Zamfix's build, maybe he'd stripped out a load of other things. Can't project to another screen. Oh, that's because there's no internet connection, of course. So sound, this is going through my 99p sound card. Uh, you can see that's the USB, which is the SSD drive. If I go into folders, Windows, Users, Public. Did Zamfix have anything in his folder? I won't look. Uh, so Public Downloads, this is where, it, oh no, I thought I was putting things there. Documents. There you go. There's my Elastomania files. And you can see that it operates just like ordinary Windows, so the network doesn't work. The music's just got that one file in it. Pictures have just got that one file in it. Uh, it doesn't I don't think it shows the preview again because it's yeah, because it's stripped down. But you can see the way it's flicking through this like small icons, list, details, content, tiles. It's transformed it, it really has. Uh, you know, remember what this is running on, that it's running on one gig of RAM, that it's a really early build. Uh, you know, I was thinking it's not the sort of thing you would use, but for certain things, you can. Oh, well, let's do, uh, I've got a, a Sega Genesis or Mega Drive emulator. So, file, load, Genesis ROM. See the game bar comes up on the right hand side there, let's press Windows G keys to start. I won't try screen capturing as my memory is going to be pretty close to being unusable. Uh, so what did I try yesterday? I did Aladdin. It's a zip file and it, and it loaded up the zip file alright. So emulation is all sorts of you know extras uh, and I'm using this on keyboard. It does work with my uh, USB controller, my Xbox 360 controller. It's weird, the frame rate comes out really low, but the gameplay seems to run at, at pretty much the right speed. I've got no sound though, have I? Oh well, let's leave that. There you go, so I can throw me apples. I disappeared then. <laughs> So it's not perfect, but this is oh a Sega Mega Drive running on the Pi, emulated, and you know the Pi itself is emulating Windows in some way. Jump off there, oh, there you go. So I'm super impressed. Uh, I really think that, and and if somehow they can, uh, well I haven't really had a look back through the W O R way of setting up the Pi as to if there is, oh, it's dropping pots, uh, if there is a way of doing that. Um, but, uh, but I'm sure there is. Uh, the, the reason it was easy to do Zamfixes and also will be for, for Marsan's builds is that they used a micro SD to do the initial boot. So it's a bit like Berry Boot where all your information is on the SSD, so that's why it's running lovely and fast, but it's just that very first bit that just says, it directs it to the SSD. But as I say, I'll, I'll explain how to set it up and go through uh, a, a sort of basic tutorial on that. Uh, and I guess I'll do that tomorrow. But uh, yeah, that's it really. So Windows 10 running on Pi 4, but this time perfectly usable. And, uh, and in fact, actually feels really quite fast. And I'm even going to shut it down because that sometimes can take some time. Uh, so power, power, shut down. And I'll let you know when the green lights stop going, because that will mean it's off. And in fact, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.